There's a new update to Photoshop. We're going to dive in and we're going to take a look at one thing in particular. It's the new remove tool, which whoo, if you need to take something out of your photo, it is so easy. It is so straightforward. We're going to have a look at it, see how it works, see what the limitations are. Let's get into it. It's Tutorial Tuesday. Welcome back to Tutorial Tuesday, each and every, each and every Tuesday. We bring you a brand new fresh photography tutorial. They're getting wild. They're getting out of hand, these intros. Let's dive into Photoshop. We know what we're talking about. We're looking at this new remove tool. Now you can find this tool up here on the left where the spot healing brush tool is or the healing brush. And there's lots of things here. It's right there. So you just left click and hold and go onto the remove tool. And it is an extremely useful thing. It works a lot like the spot healing brush tool, but let's have a look at exactly what it can do. Let's start off by trying to remove this Sony A1 from this image. Now let's use the spot healing brush tool. First of all, I'm going to go ahead and paint that in. And you can see that's actually done a pretty good job, but it's a little bit, you know, if we zoom in, it's a bit artifacty here. It's not ideal, right? It's not, it's not blending perfectly. I mean, if you just glance at it, it's fine, but otherwise it's not ideal. Let's control Z that and let's go up and change to the remove tool. Now it works very similarly. You're going to paint this on. So let's just paint this on. It's got a different colored overlay, which I think is really nice. Let's just paint this on exactly like we would with the spot healing brush and then let go. And Photoshop's going to do its thing. Look at the difference. That is wild. That looks so good. And if you think, okay, well, that's been duplicated. Well, that's fine. We can just go in and and tidy that up a little bit. Just do another remove tool session on that, on the on the added bit. Perfect, look at that. You would never know that there was a camera there. Okay, let's go off to another image. This was taken at our wildlife day at our Burgess Hill store, get an idea of the crowd. And this is the kind of photo where I might wanna go in and actually remove something like this pillar, this bollard. And there's a couple of ways I would have done that. I might have used the spot healing brush tool. So let's try that again. Let's just go over that. That's done a pretty good job. But again, if we zoom in, it's not ideal. There's this few sort of artifacts. Not a problem. I could go in and I could use the clone stamp. That's super nice, but that's a bit of a manual process. And then you start getting duplications. You have to tidy it up a little bit. So let's just go ahead and select the remove tool. Do exactly the same thing. Just paint this on. I'm not being super precise. And there we go. Let Photoshop do its thing. Look at that. Again, you'd never even know. I mean, look, it's done such a good job. There's no kind of artifacting. It just, it's just a lot, lot better. This is something I can imagine using quite a lot. Let's look at an example where maybe it's not gonna do a perfect job. No tool is perfect when it comes to this kind of stuff. And especially in, well, in any program really, but when you talk about Photoshop, you talk about removing stuff, it can get difficult. Let's remove this camera, for example. It's much more prominent in the frame. You've got nice out of focus areas in the background, in focus area in the front, a little bit more difficult. Let's see how it handles. So we're just gonna have, we've got the remove tool selected. We're gonna paint over the camera here. Just paint over that completely. Let go. Actually, do you know what? Photoshop has done a really, really good job there. That is crazy. Let's press Control Z. That's where we were. Control Shift Z to redo. That is that is kind of wild. Let's see just out of curiosity what that would have looked like with a spot healing brush. So we're going to do exactly the same thing. Paint this in. Let's see how Photoshop does. Not ideal. Not ideal. So you can see how much more powerful this tool is. Let's find another example to show you things not being absolutely perfect. So we're gonna look at this photo here. Now again, we're gonna remove the camera from this. I'm not deliberately picking on cameras, but it's an easy example, right, to try and remove a camera from a scene since I have a lot of photos of cameras. So let's try and remove this one. Now, this is getting harder and harder, right, because we've got more complex background. We've got a plant pot behind the camera, this kind of wood here, we've got different wood here all kinds of stuff. We've got out of focus, in focus. Let's go ahead and select the remove tool. Now, as I paint this on, like I say, no tool is perfect, right? It's not like a miracle tool that's able to do anything. So I'm expecting this one not to really work because it's just too much to fill in. Let's see how this goes though. I, I don't think it's the worst thing I've ever seen, but there's no way Photoshop could have known to fill in that, that plant pot, at least not, not yet. Maybe one day, who knows? I mean, it's pretty impressive what it's done here, but it's not an, just a miracle tool to fix anything in your photo. So it's worth bearing that in mind. And I think it's good to see the limitations of some of this stuff. And at this point, we are really 
we are really trying to remove the central subject of a photo and, and ask Photoshop to keep everything else intact. So I think it's fair enough that that one didn't work out so well. There is also another way that we can use this as well. So let's go back over to this photo where the Sony A1 is now hiding. Let's bring the Sony A1 back. We can use this exactly like I've been doing it, or we can come up here. There's a little checkbox here that says remove after each stroke. Now, would that checked? I'm painting on my little area like this. And when I let go, Photoshop is then doing the removal. But if I untick this, I can actually go ahead and paint on. And let's say I've missed a bit or I want to paint somewhere else in the image. So for example, let's say I want to paint the rest of that. Maybe even with a slightly smaller brush. And I want to do up here. I want to get rid of that on the wall. Then I can do that. I can paint anywhere in the photo as many times as I want. I can let go. I can go somewhere else and click and drag. And I can come up here and click this tick to let Photoshop know I'm ready for you to do your thing. And there we go. We've now removed two different areas at once. Probably for the most part, I would use it with the checkbox ticked. But it is helpful to know that you can do it without because you might have a slightly difficult object to actually cover with the brush. And being able to do it in multiple strokes is actually really, really useful. It's a super useful thing to have available to you. And I just think this tool is it's so much better than Spot Healing Brush. That does have its uses, don't get me wrong. But this is for removing something from your photo. This is absolutely whoo, it's really exciting. Let me know what you think though. Are you excited to check this out? Is this something you would use often? Is this going to be kind of replacing the spot healing brush for you? I'd love to know all of those different things. Maybe you've already tried it. Maybe you, maybe you early bird, you've tried it. I'd love to know your thoughts. Let me know down in the comments because it's super interesting to hear everything that you guys have to say. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well. So there's new content all the time. I will see you next time. But until then, as always, thanks for watching.